Hello everyone, I'm Alex. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started segmenting in Real Contour. So in one of the previous videos, we loaded all of these scans. In the last video, we defined two ROIs or two different organs that we want to edit, pancreas and kidneys. And now I'm going to show you how to get started editing. So select the ROI we want to trace, in this case the kidneys. You can see that, um, okay, so click the paintbrush tool here, and you can see there's a little circle around our mouse. So if we click and hold the left mouse button here, that's how we get started tracing. So it's essentially the same thing as Microsoft Paint. So hold the left mouse to trace, hold the right mouse button to erase. To zoom in, to make it easier to see, on the paint toolbar here, click, cl uh, click the plus magnifying glass, click and drag a box to zoom in. We'll switch back to our paintbrush tool, and this makes it much easier to trace around the kidney. So once we have the edges of the kidney traced, you can click this paint bucket here to fill in the center. Now to move on to the next slice, um, you can either scroll with the mouse scroll wheel or use the left and right arrow keys. So Real Contour has this window down here which displays all of the slices. So each slice in our scan is one box. And you'll notice actually that the box that we have selected is filled in with blue. It'll actually fill in um, the color of the ROI for each slice that's, um, that the ROI is present. So it lets you keep track of where in the scan you're located. So if we use the right arrow key to select the next slice, go back to the paintbrush, Pretty easy to paint around this slice as well. And you can do some touch-ups. I'll show some advanced tools like thresholding um, and things like that in a future video, but this is just to get you started. And we'll click fill. And if we want to select a new ROI, um, just click on pancreas. And we can trace out this is terrible anatomy because this actually is not the pancreas, I don't think, um, but it gives you the idea. One other thing I want to mention, so in the um, project window here, you'll notice that the scan we have selected is now bolded. Real Contour automatically bolds um, any scans that you've already edited. So if we click on a new scan, you notice it's easy to keep track of whatever scan we were editing. So we'll click back and go back to the slice. Um, okay, I think that's all I want to mention for now. So that's how to get started editing in Real Contour. Thanks for listening.